In 2005, the Bart Fire led to the closure of the area north of Bartlett Lake Road. The Bart Fire burned 11,500 acres, includes 1,920 acres of St. Clair. The cause is determined to be human, and since the time of this fire, the St. Clair area has been closed to off-road, off-highway vehicle use. In 2014, Console Recreation Alliance was able to contact and start a project with the Tonsil National Forest. Many of the trails were lost due to the overgrowth and the erosion over time with storms. But due to the diligence of the Tonsil Recreation Alliance members and volunteers, they were able to identify. And in 2014, I think believe, I believe 2014 is from my understanding, when the first crew went down into the area, was allowed to go down there with the, the National Forest um, Agency and identify if the trail is still serviceable or if, it's, if it still exists, uh, which they did identify. And if any, you know, anybody who knows that area, the back in, well, that back in that time, they, they used to drop into a wash on the high end, um, on the north, on the east side, which was kind of bypassed one of some of the sections, a little more difficult flexi areas or, you know, washed out areas. Um, so one of the things they did during this project is they re rehabilitated to the original trail. So the restoration took it back to the time before people started going around the trail and making their own trail. So here it is now, April, the time of the recording is April 8th and the trail will open to the public finally on April 6th, 2024. Just huge after 10 years, 10 plus years, you know what I'm saying? 10 years of, of just constant volunteer work and perseverance through from the Tonto Recreational Alliance and and every volunteer that came along the way. I believe the hours, total hours is something like 6,300 volunteer hours were put into this project. The majority of Tonsil Recreational Alliance's charter concentrated into the hand, uh, into a core element of routes, which would be FR42, 1117th, and 1104. Cornerstone of this project being Trail 42. Throughout the years, the, the teams faced weather, equipment issues, and numerous delays while it slowly, slowly inching closer to something that felt out of reach for the team. So Fire Road 42 is probably the most well-known route in the area, but there's much more than just the Telegraph Line Trail of reopening on Saturday. From the sandy wash of F532, the high ridges with unbeatable scenery of 1117 and 1104. The east side of St. Clair has a ton to offer, much of it being less technical than 42. For those of you who have a less capable vehicle, you know, not so built and more stock, um, there's still going to be some brush, so you may still get some scratches. 1117, 1104, definitely great trails to hit. 532 is an easy entrance. You don't have to go through a very technical section to get there. It's very sandy. It's very doable. Um, and I, I can knock it out in two-wheel drive. All these trails have had many thousands of hours of hard work poured into them by the volunteers to get it to the point where they're, they're, they could be reopened. Um, 20 years after the closure. So with that said, remember to tread lightly, pick up after yourself, and practice responsible recreation. Pack it in, pack it out. If you wanna, if you're local to Arizona, or maybe you're just visiting, uh, and you wanna see how you can participate in some of these uh, the, these trail maintenance and uh, brushing that we do, um, they even have best ofs where where Tonsil Recreation Alliance. It's less about upkeep and just kind of just showing you explaining to the history of the trails of the area and just enjoying just going out and hitting the trail and enjoying the day having some lunch and coming out um, check out tonsil recreation alliance so it's going to be www.tralaz.org register and go through the registration if you sign up i'll see you on the trail if not hey enjoy these trails and make sure to pick up after yourself